Welcome to the Digital Moneta channel. Today we will be taking a look at Crypto Hopper's arbitrage feature and how it works. So let's get to it. So how does Crypto Hopper's arbitrage feature actually work? Normally, traders would place arbitrage trades between multiple exchanges to take advantage of price differences. On the other hand, Crypto Hopper utilizes triangular arbitrage. Essentially, triangular arbitrage exploits price discrepancies between three cryptocurrencies, which occurs when inefficiencies or imperfections are present on the exchange, like Binance, for example. Let's take a look at an example of a triangular arbitrage trade. So, Crypto Hopper would basically use your base currency, which we are using Bitcoin, to purchase the altcoin with that arbitrage. Uh, possibility it would then take that altcoin and exchange it for ether and then the final step in the triangle would basically be exchanging that back into your base currency of Bitcoin so basically it's gonna buy a coin on the Bitcoin market sell the coin on the ether market and then sell ether back to the Bitcoin market and you would then end up with Bitcoin and hopefully a small profit assuming that your trading fees didn't eat up all that profit. Now, the nice thing is the Crypto Hopper arbitrage feature actually takes into consideration your trading fees into the calculation for arbitrage possibilities. So it's our opinion that the Binance Exchange is the best exchange for triangular arbitrage as they offer the most coins and they have some of the lowest fees at 0.1%. Now, we actually use the Binance token to pay our fees, so we receive a 50% discount, and so can you, uh, if you use your Binance token for to pay your fees. That would actually make your fee 0.05% versus 0.1%. Since there are actually three trades involved, you will incur three transaction fees. So each time it purchases and sells, you incur a fee. So you're going to have one, two, three different fees. So if you're paying the 0.1%, you're paying 0.3% for the entire arbitrage to take effect. Now, since we use the Binance token, we're only paying 0.5, excuse me, 0.05%. And so we end up paying 0.15% for the entire transaction. And when we're only looking at a small return on arbitrage, every little bit counts. And we'll get into our settings later in the video to show you what percent profit we're seeking on our arbitrage. So one of the risks with triangular arbitrage is when the trade cannot be fit fulfilled. If a triangular arbitrage trade fails, the hopper is left with ETH or the coin it wanted to trade, and that will be added to your position. So, for example, if the arbitrage recognizes the altcoin and then is not able to trade fast enough into ETH, that altcoin will be added to your positions. Or we have seen a situation where it got the, the altcoin, actually made it to ETH, but was not able to transfer it into Bitcoin, so we ended up holding some Ether. There are a few other instances we're going to show you a little later that you probably, this isn't quite as hands-off as we would like this feature, this arbitrage feature to be, but we'll get into that as we get towards the settings. Now, before I move on, I do want to stress that this is all for information purposes only. We have just started testing this feature, this triangular arbitrage feature. We do not recommend you follow any of our advice, any of our settings. We are expecting to take a loss. Of course, we hope we don't, but we are expecting to take a loss and we're risking money we're willing to lose. I do not, again, recommend you doing this. This is not advice. We're not showing you what you should do. We're just merely showing how we're doing it. So with that said, do your own research, do your own testing, and be willing to lose the money that you actually uh, invest. So with that, we'll go ahead and move on. So in order to do arbitrage with Crypto Hopper, you will need a Kangaroo subscription. That's the only subscription they offer that allows for the arbitrage trading. 
And so if we take a look at our history, we can see that arbitrage opportunity was found at a 0.57% profit on the RCN token. And so the first transaction it did was to buy the RCN token. The next step would have been to trade that into Ether. And it failed to purchase the Ether with the RCN token because it took too long of a time frame to fill that order and so the RCN token was added to our positions. We can see the actual buy for RCN via using BTC was placed uh, via the arbitrage was the trigger and if we look over at our Binance exchange order history we can see that we actually did purchase the RCN and the order was filled but because we weren't able to execute the ether trade we do not see that ether trade in our transactions for rcn uh, that timed out so if we look over now we can see that the rcn is actually added to our positions on our hopper now we'll get over to the configuration here in a moment but this is one of the little glitches that we're seeing that i want to show you on the next screen is a trigger that actually signaled via arbitrage two different situations to buy the singular the SNGL uh, S token and according to the hopper it wasn't a able to execute the ether trade so it actually added the single to our positions as we see here it actually added to our positions but we can see these amounts almost 8,000, 8,100 8, singular tokens are not actually in our, on our Binance exchange account. So there's some discrepancy there. So what we did is we take a look over at Binance and we can see that we purchased the singular and then actually were able to fill the majority of the singular into Ether. And we ended up with Ether and again on the second order we bought the singular using our BTC we did actually fill the order for singular into ether and ended up with ether but the hopper for whatever reason does not show that transaction at this ether transaction taking place so again we're really just testing out this feature and we found a couple hiccups in it not exactly sure what's going on we'll be contacting crypto hopper to see if they can shed any light it might have something to do with our settings which we'll get to in a moment but again i don't think right now the arbitrage feature is totally hands off because technically with the rcn we wanted to get rid of that we don't want that sticking around and then with the ether we also want to get rid of we want to turn that back into btc and free up that btc for our hopper to use so we're manually going to have to add that ether or sell that ether in order to get the btc back so i just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up we're showing you how the arbitrage uh is working so far for us which i don't know if i'd call it working we've not yet seen a complete transaction so let's go ahead and take a look at our settings again you'll see we're in our kangaroo hopper right now and we're going to go over here to configure and then we'll do the base config and then from there we go down to the bottom where arbitrage tab is and click on that and we'll see that uh, when enabled your hopper will look for triangular arbitrage opportunities and if you want to learn more they have a little bit more information available for you but it's uh it's not greatly detailed actually so the first thing is obviously it needs to be enabled it will actually ask you for your trading fee and again we put in the 0.05 since we're using the Binance token and that's important because this is going to be a factor on whether they can find a profitable trade for you so we've got the 0.05 filled in which ends up with the three trades it'll be a 0.15 total but you put in the actual amount per trade not for all three trades and then the arbitrage minimum profit we are looking for 0.49 percent 
Uh, this is really, again, we're testing this. So we're trying to get in and out of these coins as quickly as possible. When we do arbitrage with Forex, uh, we, we're basically just scraping and trying to get in and out as quickly as we possibly can. And so right now, that's exactly what we're trying to do. And then the arbitrage buy amount, we actually have this amount copied over from our buy amount settings uh, for the hopper itself. So this, whether it was buying a signal or buying an arbitrage, this amount is actually the same amount. Now we've had arbitrage fill or kill marked, still similar situation where it would buy into a coin but not make it all the way through the transaction. We've turned it off and that has not seemed to affect the performance whatsoever actually it still seems to perform the same way so right now we're running with this off just trying to see if we can get a trade to actually uh, work again I can't stress enough we are actually taking a pretty big risk trying to get this to work and we have yet to see it actually work I do not recommend you copy this and deploy it and expect it to be profitable because we have yet to see this be profitable or actually make it all the way through a trade a successful trade I'm just sharing this for informational purposes and I definitely will be doing updates in the future uh, as as we see how it works or, or or doesn't work you know we'll we'll definitely update you but I wanted to get a video out I hadn't seen any videos on the crypto hopper arbitrage feature so i thought i'd at least share what i've been experiencing so far and with that i think i'll go ahead and wrap up the video uh, if you could do me a favor if you like the video spike that like button it'll help other people find this video uh, also if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel really appreciate everybody that subscribed already in such a short time and we are looking to do some promotions for the subscribers in the near future, probably some giveaways and contests and what have you. So please subscribe. And until next time, lock in those profits and we'll see you in the next video.